What can make a modern airliner vanish without a trace? That is the mystery surrounding the disappearance of Malaysia Airlines Flight 370. On the eighth day of March 2014, a Boeing 777, known as Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, took off from Kuala Lumpur International Airport. Its destination was Beijing, a routine journey that should have been completed in less than six hours. Little did the 227 passengers and 12 crew members on board know that this would be anything but a routine flight. The aircraft reached a cruising altitude of 35,000 feet just 20 minutes past one in the morning, local time. The aircraft communication addressing and reporting system, also known as ACARS, sent its final transmission at seven minutes past one before being switched off. The last voice communication from the crew came at 19 minutes past one. Then at 21 minutes past one, just as the plane was about to enter Vietnamese airspace over the South China Sea, the plane's transponder, which communicated with air traffic control, was switched off. From there, the flight path of MH370 took an unexpected turn. Malaysian military and civilian radar began tracking the plane as it turned around and then flew southwest over the Malay Peninsula. It then took a northwest course over the Strait of Malacca. By 2.22 in the morning, Malaysian military radar lost contact with the plane over the Andaman Sea. An Inmarsat satellite in geostationary orbit over the Indian Ocean received hourly signals from Flight 370 and last detected the plane at 8.11 in the morning. The perplexing nature of the loss of Flight 370 is such that it has become one of history's most famous missing aircraft. Its sudden disappearance, the lack of distress signals, and the vast search area have all contributed to making this a mystery that continues to baffle experts and lay people alike. A routine flight with an unanticipated twist that would soon evolve into one of the most baffling mysteries in aviation history. Let's dive into the timeline of events that unfolded on that fateful day. In the early morning of March 8, 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370, a Boeing 777, took off from Kuala Lumpur, destined for Beijing. At 41 minutes past midnight, the plane reached its cruising altitude of 35,000 feet. Just 26 minutes later, at 1.07 in the morning, the aircraft communication addressing and reporting system known as ACARS, which transmitted data about the aircraft's performance, sent its last transmission, shortly after it was switched off. The last voice communication from the crew occurred at 1.19 in the morning. A mere two minutes later, the plane's transponder, which communicated with air traffic control, was switched off. This happened just as the plane was about to enter Vietnamese airspace over the South China Sea. At 1.30 in the morning, both Malaysian military and civilian radar began tracking the plane as it made an unexpected turn. The aircraft veered southwest, flying over the Malay Peninsula before heading northwest over the Strait of Malacca. By 2.22 in the morning, Malaysian military radar lost contact with the plane over the Andaman Sea. However, an Inmarsat satellite in geostationary orbit over the Indian Ocean continued to receive hourly signals from Flight 370. The last detection from this satellite occurred at 8.11 in the morning, in just a few hours, a flight that was supposed to be routine had turned into anything but. The plane had changed direction, stopped communicating, and then disappeared. Flight MH370, a modern Boeing 777, had seemingly disappeared off the face of the Earth. In the aftermath of the disappearance, the world rallied to find Flight MH370. Initial efforts were concentrated on the South China Sea, where the plane was last known to be before the transponder was switched off. However, as the chilling truth emerged that the plane had altered its course, the focus of the search shifted. The aircraft had turned west, flying over the Malay Peninsula and then the Strait of Malacca. This startling revelation led to a redirection of search efforts towards the Strait of Malacca and the Andaman Sea. Yet the plane continued to elude detection. Then, a week after the disappearance, a new piece of the puzzle was disclosed. The Inmarsat satellite, stationed in a geostationary orbit over the Indian Ocean, had been receiving hourly signals from the missing plane. The last signal was detected at 8.11 a.m., hours after the aircraft had vanished from radar. While this contact with Inmarsat could not pinpoint the plane's exact location, 
It did help to narrow down the possibilities. Analysts determined that the plane could have been anywhere along two extensive arcs. One of these stretched south from Java into the Indian Ocean, southwest of Australia, and the other spanned northwards across Asia, from Vietnam to Turkmenistan. The search area then expanded dramatically, reaching into the Indian Ocean southwest of Australia along the Southern Arc and covering Southeast Asia, Western China, the Indian subcontinent and Central Asia along the Northern Arc. This was a colossal task, underscoring the enormity of the challenge that the search teams were facing. Yet despite the tireless work of those involved and the vast resources employed, the plane remained elusive. The world watched, waited and hoped as the search for MH370 continued against the odds. Despite the Herculean efforts, the whereabouts of MH370 remained a mystery. On March 24th, a grim announcement cast a shadow over the fervent search efforts. The Malaysian Prime Minister, Najib Razak, revealed that based on the analysis of the last signals, experts from Inmarsat and the UK Air Accidents Investigation Branch had reached an unsettling conclusion. The flight had likely ended in a remote part of the Indian Ocean, almost 1,500 miles southwest of Australia. The implication was clear it was highly unlikely that anyone on board had survived. The search for wreckage, however, was severely hampered by the remoteness of the presumed crash site. On April 6th, an Australian vessel detected several acoustic pings, potentially from the Boeing 777's flight recorder, commonly known as the Black Box. This was about 1,200 miles northwest of Perth, Western Australia. The possibility of finding the black box sparked a glimmer of hope in the sea of despair. Yet, as the days passed, the mystery deepened. The Air Accidents Investigation Branch analyzed the Inmarsat data and discovered a partial signal from the plane at 8.19 a.m. consistent with the location of the acoustic pings. The last of these pings was heard on April 8th, if these signals were indeed from flight MH370, it suggested that the flight recorder was at the end of its battery life. Subsequent searches were conducted using a robotic submarine, but the pings had been spread over a wide area, which made it challenging to pinpoint the exact location of the black box. The submarine found no debris, and a subsequent investigation revealed a shocking possibility. A faulty cable in the acoustic equipment could have produced the pings, Despite the relentless efforts, the wreckage was never found. The search ended with more questions than answers. The faulty cable, the lack of debris, the vast search area, all these factors contributed to the enigma. The disappearance of flight MH370 remains an enigma, a tragic mystery that continues to beg the question, what really happened on that fateful day?